Hey guys, what is the most useful, indispensable, versatile ingredient in your kitchen? If you guessed butter, then bingo. But we're not talking about just regular butter. No, we're talking about clarified butter and why we think you should be making it and using it in your cooking. But before we dive in, for all of our new friends, welcome to Adventures of Carly Ann. We're all about pursuing our passions, big and small, every day, whether we're succeeding or failing, and we're sharing it in hopes that it encourages you to live your dreams in your fullest life today. So if you're all about that, hit the subscribe and the bell and join our adventures. Have you ever used regular butter and a high heat method of cooking? Took your eyes off it for like a couple seconds and then realized you have a smoky or burnt butter? That's because regular butter from the store has a lower smoke point due to the higher percentage of water in that big old stick. Store-bought butter can have fat percentage of low to mid 80s and then the next big percentage consisting of water and an itsy bitsy percentage consisting of milk solids. So because of all of those numbers, that's why regular butter isn't really that great for sauteing or frying or anything. But once you've clarified it, you've taken out a lot of that water content and strained out some of the milk solids that will tend to burn. You have something that's closer to pure fat. Um, so making it like better for frying, sauteing, and all those other high heat methods of cooking. Another popular form of clarified butter is ghee, which originates from ancient India. And the difference between this ghee and clarified butter is that you brown the milk solids before you separate them, giving it a much more nuttier, fuller flavor. So another important thing to think about is don't throw away those milk solids when you're separating them. There are three reasons why clarified butter is so amazing. The first being regular butter burns when using high heat cooking methods. Whereas clarifying the butter raises the smoke point from 350 degrees Fahrenheit to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Another reason why clarified butter is amazing <laughs> is because it really changes the flavor and the texture. By clarifying the butter, it brings out the intensity of the flavor and the texture gets so much more silky and smooth. So if you think of a butter core dish like pastas, popcorn, or like basting your meats, it makes a world of difference. So our last reason clarified butter is amazing is because of its shelf life. You can store it for a month without even like it being in the refrigerator. So that's pretty cool. But honestly, you're probably gonna use it up before that whole month gets there. If you're probably wondering if the magic of clarified butter is a hard to do process or tedious to do or whatever, I'm gonna show you how simple it is. So we're gonna step into the studio kitchen and show you the whole process. So let's go. To make clarified butter, you're gonna need one pound of unsalted butter. The first thing we're gonna do is cut up our butter into chunks, put it in a pot on a low heat, and let it melt, let it do its thing. It's really that simple. You're going to get a lot of separation. Some of these milk solids will float to the top and some of it will stay on the bottom. Whatever floats to the top, we're gonna skim it out and make sure to save it. There's a lot of flavor in these milk solids and you can further cook it down for a deeper flavor. Now we have our liquid gold. We're gonna strain the rest of this to separate the nice clarified butter from the rest of the milk solids. I've already saved so much of the other milk solids that I tend to just discard the rest, but it is your choice. The more the merrier, you can keep it if you want. Now you've successfully made clarified butter and have milk solids. So there you have it, that's clarified butter, but we're not done yet. On the next video, we wanna share how we use clarified butter for really, really tasty theater popcorn. So catch us on the next one, hit that subscribe, that bell, and do all the goodies of a thumbs like, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Bye.